Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Good Day. We are live down here in Adel at Adel Outfitters. They've got just about every outdoor sport you can ever imagine here. A few weeks ago, we were out here talking about turkey hunting. Turkey hunting, yes, we were. And I learned very, very quickly that it's hunting, hunting. not hunting. That's right, hunt hunting. Hunting. I can't even say it anymore. You trained me so well. But, Chad, this morning we're talking about fishing. Fishing. That's right. <laughs> yeah, we've got a large selection of fishing. We've got the uh, your bait casters. We've got... 50 or 60 bait casting reels. Okay. We've got the, your spinning reels for spin casting for your freshwater reels, 2,500 up to 4,000. Okay. We got several your casting rods, several different lengths, hundreds of Shimano's, G Loomis. This is a Shimano, and then we've got. Okay, now Chad, I got to stop you there because I have a little confession to make this What's morning. That? Every year we have the Kendall Cousin Fishing Tournament. Mm hmm. And I always lose. So you're kind of going a little over my head. Let's break it back down. First off, so you buy a fishing pole separate from reel. the reel? That's right. Okay. And if you come over here, we'll get the reel and the rod to match because okay. that's important. Okay, there you go. So now we've got a couple different types. Yeah. Again, you're throwing around all these numbers and these names. Which is the best one here, you would say? Uh, Give me the Cadillac of fishing, fishing Shimano. Reels. This Shimano Stellar Reel. Okay. Runs. Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty. That's six, all about all. Six hundred fifty dollars worth of pretty. Wow. And uh, then we got the line. Does it catch the fish for you? Do you yeah, have to do any of the work? All you got to do is just throw it out there, and they just jump on your boat. Well, I tell you, that's what I need for that Kendall Cousin fishing tournament. Uh, again, tell me of the difference between these different reels here. The line capacity. Okay. And is that how heavy of a fish you can hold? The more line you have, um, not really. I mean, it just holds more line. Okay. And then you got different type of rods, which from. Four and a half foot on up to, that got up to ten foot. Now, then you got your flipping rods, which you don't sell a lot of flipping rods. We'll talk about those a little later. That's I want right. to talk about these rods. The different lengths. That's right. Uh, longer, better, shorter, better, cast it farther. Usually the longer the rod, the further you can throw it. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. So uh, I like medium heavy rods. We've got heavy rods. We've got ultra light rods. But, uh, and what is the different heavy light, what is the different weight? The do? action on the rod. The okay. stiffer the rod. The, uh, I like the, the stiff for the rod is to me I have a better feel. Mm -hmm. A limber the rod is used for a, a lure called a rattle trap, and we'll get to that next time. All so right. uh, every rod has its own purpose. You got a stiff rod. I'm sure the fish won't get away quite as easily. That's right. <laughs> you talk them into it. It's inviting. Okay. Now all of this is for freshwater fishing. Freshwater fishing. We've got freshwater, and then we'll get to saltwater later on. But uh, yeah, freshwater fishing. And everybody to please a fisherman is kind of like pleasing the the females. You got to oh. have everything <laughs> and you never have what they want <laughs> well i mean you've got so many different things out here again the rod and or excuse me the reel and the rod. the rod we've got all these different types of lures out here is it better to use a real worm or a lure that we've got back here well you use real worms for kitchen brim for bass fishing you want mm. rubber worms You're learning so many things for this kendall cousin fishing tournament that's right <laughs> you got trick them into biting Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Talking about these, I mean all different assortments. We're going to be getting into a lot more about fishing, fishing. not fishing, fishing this fishing. morning live here on Good Day. Out here at Out Adel Outfitters, back to you guys in the studio. Well, thanks so much, Kelly. We are live down here in Adel Outfitters, at Adel Outfitters, excuse me, talking all about freshwater fishing right now. We already talked about the, lure, excuse me, the, the Rod reels, and reels and the rods. So, Chad, now we got to actually catch the fish. That's right. We've got to entice them to bite so we got supper. I like it. Now, you got several different lures. you got okay. a top water bait. Okay, and what does this mean? This is... It just hangs on the top of the water, floats It floats, floats on top of the water, and when you pull it, it goes on top of the water. Mm. We've got rattle traps, which we don't have one up here. Uh-oh. They've uh -oh. got them out here, though. Yes, right. They've got all sorts of little lures <laughs> out here. My we word. Buzz baits. Okay. That makes noise on top of the water. Let's hang. Show it up to everybody there at home. Now, they, this is like a little... It, makes, it like tinkles. Uh, tinkles. <laughs> well, I guess you call that. <laughs> like clinks on it top of the water. It makes noise. That's right. Okay. But this is a, probably the most used lure of them all. It's a rubber worm. And rubber worm has a hook on it. Okay. And they got several hooks. You got black hooks. You got red hooks. You got. Does the color matter? Uh, I like red. Okay. But Just no. You like the color? That's right. Like Are the fish color. colorblind? No. Oh. Uh -huh. I don't know about colorblind. Um. 
you put the there's several types. You got wide gap hooks and you got regular hooks. I like the wide gap because you got more hooking power. Okay, now I'm gonna have you take off this this worm because we want to show everybody the proper way to oh. hook on this worm. You got a little, little trick here. That's right. Bill didn't show me this himself. Okay. No, you bring it through just a little bit. You turn it through. Okay. You bring the lure all the way up. Or the worm up. So then the, the, the line, line will become be this. Out. That's right. And you turn it around, and then you bring it right back into the worm. And I always bring the hook through the worm, and then I bring it back. So when the bass bites and you mm -hmm. set the hook, it's easier to go through the worm. Okay. And it right. stays on it, and then you have dinner. That's right. Then you have dinner. And there's several got line. You got different test line. Mm -hmm. The uh, of course the bigger test for the bigger fish. Sounds good. Now, the stronger the line, uh, of course, you've got, you got some here. And we got braided right line and you got monofilament line. And what is the difference? Braided line is, is stronger, but it's uh, it's kind of tricky on what kind of lures you use. I like okay. monofilament, but a lot of people use braid now. Now, if the line is attached to the hook, why does it matter what kind of lure you use? Well, it just does. <laughs> That's it. The, I'm sensing. The, the lighter weight line to me is, is more for worms and the heavier weight line is for your topwater plugs. Okay. But uh, <clears throat> there's several different hooks. You got for the scum frog, you got different type of hooks for those. Now this is a horny toad hook. The that horny is toad what it is called. That's right. Um, price tag is under net, but it says horny toad hook. Are you fishing toads? Well, we're fishing for, using toads for uh, fish. We got snakes too. Little so snakes. instead of these lures and instead of worms, you fish with Frogs. What, what is it? Frog right there. Oh my. I, I did not frog. know you could use. So fish eat frogs? They do. They eat frogs. I'm finding so much out here in addition to just they different gear. They eat crawdads. They eat little snakes. They eat frogs. They eat bugs. They eat anything that's in the water. Well, they, I guess they're hungry too. They're hungry. But we are hungry. We need our dinner. Out of all of these, which one do you think is the best one? Rubber worm. Rubber worm? Red shed rubber worm. If you don't buy that, you go home. <laughs> And you can buy them out here at Adel Outfitters. That's We've right. got more for saltwater fishing coming up in our next hour of Good Day. Back to you guys in the studio. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Good Day. We're live here at Adel Outfitters talking all about fishing this morning. We already covered uh, freshwater fish, so now we've got to talk about saltwater fish. And it looks like there's a little bit more equipment involved in saltwater fishing. There's a, there's a lot more because there's a lot different, or there's a lot, a lot of variety of fish. It's the species, ocean. yes. There's a lot more there's... fish in the ocean. Okay, so we're talking lures, baits, tackles. Is there a proper name? Uh, tackle is tackle. what um, Okay, kind, is of, what kind you, of the overall. It's sum it all up. Because like, there's a lot of different stuff here. There is, there is. Uh, you got anything from your soft baits like gulp? That's, that's okay. a major name that's taken over the industry. And is that kind of the, like the plastic worm that we it, saw earlier for fish? It's water? just like the plastic water for freshwater okay. fishing. Uh, and they come in buckets and tubs. Now, are these buckets and tubs, is this just... Real worm flavored, real baby fish flavored. Is that what this They're is? They're scented, uh, gulp scent. Um, that's the reason why they have almost cornered the market and took it over. Okay. And then the soft bait. Um, there's still some other companies out there like Gotcha and gotcha. Uh, We're Saltwater Sassy. Mm -hmm. It goes into fishing too, fashion guys. Uh, then you got your hard baits, um, cotton cordels for inshore. And now are these, well, this one's got some bells on it. It's got some rattles. It makes fish little, with ears? They do. They can hear huh. very well. Well, there you uh, go. They can. Uh, offshore jigs for getting down bottom real quick. They sink down quickly? They sink down quickly. You can feel the weight on that one. Yeah, this one's pretty heavy. Ooh, this one's fun. Does this mm. just attract the fish? It, it does. It does. It's all about appeal. <laughs> Alrighty. I mean, so many different types of there things. There is. This one looks like a football. That's actually a, uh, a, a cork, a bobber. Okay, uh, so it stays there on the top of the water. It does. Uh, people use that for inshore uses. Um, live bait, you put a pinfish, which is this guy here, okay. or a shrimp under him. So you do kind of string it together? About, about that depth, or you can get a little deeper, so you're actually... Okay. Here I was thinking the fish want to play football or something. <laughs> Shows how much I know about fishing. Well, all right, we got to talk about the hooks, because that's what's going to make the fish oh, yeah. you come up to the shore with us. Different types. you got your jig heads. Um... What you use on your, your gulps and your, your soft baits. Okay. Um, 
and they come in. reason? Does it make the, the gulp It stick? gets it down uh, so it ain't floating on top of the water. Okay, so there's a little bit of a weight there. And you got different weights, you got different colors if you just have a preference. Okay, and then are these just different widths, thicknesses? Gauges, uh, sizes, um, shapes. Uh, you have circle hooks, inline, offset. Um, All sorts. Is there a better these. one? The circle hook is... That's the best? Is... A lot better hook. Okay. Just because you don't have to yank. By, by the circle hooks, the guys. <laughs> right now, the fishing line, because we don't want those fish to, to get away. We've got, of course, our, our tackle and our hook, but we don't want it to break. We don't. Uh, that's why you beef up your line. 40-pound uh, monofilament was... Is this that kind of nylon? That is. That okay. is. And they, you can get bigger sizes. You can go up to 50, 60, and you can drop down to 30 and 20 for your inshore. Just depending on how heavy that fish is going to be? It is. Uh, the new product is braid, which is smaller diameter line but heavier poundage. This is a. Now, what's uh, the advantage to having a smaller diameter line? More line on your reel. You okay. could where you could hold a hundred, two hundred yards on some reels. You can get up to three hundred, four hundred on your bigger oh, wow. reels. You can. That, I mean, that's a huge difference there. It the is. braid, just kind of like somebody would braid their hair. That's what it, it's, it's a done. rope. It's a small, thin rope. That's what it is. Now, this one, it can hold up to 65 pounds. 65. If I was to put a 65-pound weight on it, it would hold it. If I was to put a 66-pound, I mean, are they are they that sensitive? It would hold as well. I mean, you could you could catch a lot bigger fish on 65. You just couldn't. Or I can try to winch him in gotcha. as hard as you, a, a smaller fish. Sounds good. Uh, this is just. This is the newest one Power Pro's come out with. It's a super slick, more for casting, like mm -hmm. your spinning reels. So it'll go small. out farther? It can. It's smoother, okay. and you can, you can feel the difference on mm -hmm. that. It's uh, more fibers to the braid. Yeah, you just can't. It feels more like the nylon one. It does. That, it does. That braid one. All right, well, they've got pretty much everything out here at mm -hmm. Adel Outfitters mm -hmm. for all your fishing needs. Hopefully, we will get some better weather so you can get out there and get fishing. I know you're going to be heading out there fishing this morning, I think. I out this morning. That's the joys of me waking him up early out here at Adel Outfitters. He went turkey hunting last time when we were talking, talking, hunting, talking, turkey. talking turkey hunting. <laughs> Woo, I'll get it eventually. <laughs> Back to you guys in the studio.